wherever I want to go. Our feet shall take us there. We are now in Mtendere. This is one of the strategic routes, a very busy economic route here in Mutendere, just some three kilometers from State House. This road serves as a shortcut conduit when the Great East Road is congested. So right now, a lot of people are using this road apart from the other services it serves as a market. This road is very strategic, but it is a sorry side. This road has not seen attention for a long time. And people are wondering when is the change beginning to show for our road network? When are we going to start seeing the change that was promised reflecting itself on the roads? What about the tax we pay, the road taxes? Why aren't they working on the roads? Do we need to wait for two years before we see even one road being repaired? Let's look at this economic road that needs urgent attention. <laughs> this is the Mutendere Road, very important economic road, which if you bring your car here, you risk going with spare parts home. But people have got no choice. They have to use this same road, because if they use the Great East Road, it's jammed. But I've seen cars break down on this road. It's a very busy road. Cut us for a lot of entrepreneurs, people doing business to earn a living. So people can't still ab abandon this road because this is where they make their bread and butter. And I know there are so many other roads in this country which, unfortunately, the new Don government has not attended to roads. Roads didn't need to have a break after they were voted in because we continued paying our road taxes. It still kept reflecting in the budget. But why did they stop? Why have they stopped maintaining the roads? It's even rain season already. They can't say there is no money because we have never stopped paying road taxes. Unless the money is being misappropriated and being used for other things. This is unattainable and for a country that prides itself in development, it needs to make sure that such things are adhered to. This is indeed a disaster. So people are complaining. This is a disaster and people are asking for the councillor so that this road can be attended to. Another one here has just jumped up. It's really difficult. And unless we start seeing progress happen on such roads, unless we start seeing the government take responsibility to work on such roads, it's a very viable economic place. You find people trading in all sorts of things, mangoes and mushrooms. But the state of the road is a sorry sight. And they are crying to the government to quickly attend to the road so that they are able to do their business properly. Okay. How is work? Thank you. So people are delighted that finally at least their voice will be heard. And we hope and pray that the government will hear the cries of it. Because these are the same people that vote. And if indeed their cries are not heard, it's just a matter of time. They This is becoming even unsightly a recipe for a lot of diseases. Because this spot for here is in the middle of the road. Once you come with your car here, you are finished. And we can't say there are no resources. 
because resources are there.